Hi, I'm Chuck with Razorback Off-Road. Today I'm real excited to share with you a piece of technology that we've been developing over the last year or so, and that's our Rough Rider heat shield. A lot of you know that the temperatures in the back of these side-by-sides can get really super hot. And in fact, today when we go outside with the thermal imaging and the heat gun, we're gonna show you that temps are probably gonna be in excess of 140, 150, and in some cases, over 150 degrees in the back of the side-by-side. -side. A lot of people complain that the ice melts in their cooler, but the biggest driver behind us is that we wanted to be able to take our pets with us and we needed to find a way to really drop the temperature in the back of these side-by-sides. We're gonna go outside and do some actual filming here in a little bit, but while it's inside and quiet, uh, today's one of them <laughs> roasters here in Mountain Home. It's like 102 degrees today outside. And we're gonna take an attempt to show you how long a cooler lasts. So our experiments are showing that a, a, a good cooler on a hot day in the back of a razor with a bag of ice in it, you're, you might get four hours out of it. With our heat pad, we're seeing that go up to like 12 hours. So it's really hard to quantify, but if you can imagine, you're gonna go from a 150 degree temperature under your cooler or underneath your dog to whatever the ambient temperature is outside. So it's gonna drop it to 70 or 80 degrees. So it's obviously, there's gonna be a significant improvement in that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take it on outside and look at some machines. Well, we've made it outside. It's dang near 100 degrees today here in Mountain Home, so we found a little bit of shade to operate in. We've had the machines idling now for about, oh, I would say 20 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and take some temperature readings. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the thermal gun. Right now we're showing about 132 degrees on this machine. Now I'm going to move over here to the razor and it's running about 131 degrees as well in the back of it. And keep in mind that that's right here in the shade. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the thermal imaging camera to hope to really show where the, where the real heat's generated and it's going to be pretty easy to see here as I take this picture where all the heat is in the bed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to the 900 and it's really lit up. You can see a lot of the hot spots in it. The hottest part of the machine right now is about 170 degrees. So I'll go ahead and snap a photo. Now, the thing that I do wanna point out is it doesn't really seem to matter which brand of machine and we're not out talking about heat of machines. We're just talking about solutions that we've come up with. Another thing to point out is we got a cooler here with a bag of ice in it, as you can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it in the back of this machine right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a thermal image of it. And what you're really gonna see is the cooler's in purple, and you can see all the heat around it. It's literally, it looks like it's setting on coals. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take our thermal gun and do another attempt to show you. So we're at 120, uh, 123 degrees right there underneath the cooler. And then as we move up the side of the cooler, you can see it's sitting at, a, at 98 degrees. And what you're gonna notice is as you use it, the heat just starts moving up. And as I said earlier, um, when we were inside, you could be looking at about four hour window on most coolers before your ice is really starting to deteriorate. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the cooler out and I'm gonna install our Rough Rider heat shield. And again, for the 900, we have a nice step up here. And what it does is it takes this where you normally drop down and fills that void, turns it into a really nice flat area. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the back of this one. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, put this other pad in the CF Moto. And we're going to leave them in here for a little bit and let them build up heat. So some of the other benefits of our pad is the fact that when you're going down the trail, coolers and 
camping gear isn't bouncing. You know, you have a lot, uh, a nice soft surface in here for them. As the temp's starting to build here, we're gonna go ahead and take another thermal image. And you can see the hot spot all around our pad. As you can see, the yellow is where it's all hot, up to 122 degrees. And you can see the purple section is where our Rough Rider heat shield is. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the thermal gun out and do a little more temperature reading. I believe a little bit earlier we were up in the 130s, 140 degrees. Now we're down to 99 degrees. And the reason it's 99 degrees on the top of the Cordura is because it's 99 degrees outside. Um, it typically is gonna run at out ambient temperature. As you can see right here, we're the, the pad on the CF Moto is running at about 99 degrees. So typically what we're seeing is a temperature drop of anywhere between 50 to 70 degrees difference between the bottom of your machine and the top of the Rough Rider heat shield. The biggest test though is gonna come when we bring uh, my wife's dog Jed in here and see how he likes setting in that. Well, in conclusion, this is what it's all about. You know, being able to take your family out, your pets, and have a beautiful day out on the trail without everybody getting too hot and too stressed out. So once again, I wanna thank you for spending a little time with us today. I hope you found this video informative and I hope to see you and your pet out on the trail.